talk about the the the, the, the first game of of uh, of Ascendance team. Uh, who won 4-0? I didn't see the game as well, but 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 the 4-0 is, I think, the start that any coach would like to have in the in a challenge or in the pro league. But Thunder told me he had a bad feeling about this, so we'll see if he's right or wrong. But I, I, I'm sure I will talk about it after the end of the game. So, can I find this game? Oh yes, yes, yes. I'm just turning to the pitch. I'm sorry, I had there was. There were those uh, those uh, cheerleaders uh, I had to interview before watching the game, so that's why I'm a bit late. But as none of them uh, wanted to give them to, to give me their phone number, I will now announce the game properly. <clears throat> Wish I did. Anyway. The only thing I'm praying for right now is uh, we could avoid the blue screen, the fantastic blue screens we had those two last weeks. But uh, thankfully everything will be fixed tomorrow. So here we are. I can see the game now. I just left the cheerleaders, and so all right. So uh, a symmetrical positioning from. Uh, from the from Thunden and uh, we have two tentacles on the loss. We'll see how the how the orcs will uh, deal with it. And if uh, if South one uh, one thirty wanted to play uh, a pass game, this might be quite difficult with all those disturbing prisons. One of the key of the game, I think, will be the uh, if, if the Orcs manage to, to block the Chaos Warriors or if they are repulsed by this male. Should have kept their shoes. So here we go now. The Orcs are almost set up on an astral granite field. So no pass, no go for it. This might be a real Warhammer game more than a Blood Bowl game. We'll see that. By the way, the yet jobs are the, both teams are quite dreadful. Uh, many, many good skills up, like strength plus one for the orcs or uh, ag plus one for the for the nurgers. The those kind of skills offer you a, a lot more options when playing, and I think it might give us a, a more inter an even more interesting game. Well, great start for the uh, great start for the jobs. The ball is already in the in the throw hands. This thrower has nerve of steel. Nothing can disturb him, unless he comes to close from a nerger, from a nerger player. Sorry. I just wonder what was the the three of the jobs team. As I see, it's the Yetjobs 2.3. They probably have been a Yetjobs 2.3. Two, uh, uh, two dot one, and of course two. But this one is the good four south one thirty. So before they knock down a few nuggle players, they are setting a cage. Quite classical start at the moment, but this is what he has to do, and then we might see the start of the bloodbath. Two very experienced, experienced coach again, coaches again. Very, very strong coaches. And uh, we'll see if uh, the the last team of Thunder uh, play, playing those orcs a uh, long time will help him to beat them this time, because this time they are in front of him. He's not playing them. A bit disappointing on this on this first block. But it's just a warm up. Oh, and that's a reroll 
on the second days of the game. Like Neffel, Neffel is still chasing yet jobs. I don't know what they did to him, but they, they probably forgot a few times to pray him before the game. And now he's making them bang it. Oh! <laughs> a blue screen. Is that me or... Uh, am I the only one to get a, a, a blue screen? Uh, yeah, it's, the game is still going on fine. Alright, <laughs> cool. I'm glad, that, I, I'm glad I'm the one who had the blue screen, so... Uh, well, I'm just launching the, the, the game again to watch all this. Watch this game, I'm sorry about it. I'll, uh, I'll take over, Didi, just to, just to keep you a bit of continuity. Cheers! So, uh, Cheers. the line of scrimmage has been cleared, the beast is down, the ST5 tentacle Nurgle Warrior is down, and the guard Nurgle Warrior is also down. So, what to do now? <laughs> I guess we stand them all up again, right? And we hope for, <laughs> we hope for more of the same. So, let, let's try that and see how that goes. That's one up. Now we try the beast, which is always the dodgy bit. And the beast fails and is really stupid. Thank you, beastie. So, let's put you there. What about this bad feeling? I told you the bad feeling, but you wouldn't believe <laughs> me, would you? You didn't believe me. No, I never beated you, so, so I never believe you when you say you have a, a bad feeling. Well, just let it be said, I, to I told you here first. You're right, but I, the, I hope for you you've been wrong. Well, the Blitz is just a push on the Black Orc, so uh, nothing going on there. I'm back. I'm back. Uh, well, so oh yeah, okay. uh, I'm just talking about the the blitz. I'm a bit late, but I guess this will uh, this will be fixed in a few minutes. Yeah, I think the coaches will take time to to think, and so I will have the time to to reach the the live. Look at all those mighty blowers on the field. Looks like no armor will be strong enough to, to protect those players. And I think the gub is quite afraid now, seeing those guys. So now the Yetiops uh, can play the, the, the second turn, but looks like things didn't move that much uh, there's still, there, there still a wall of Nurgle players in front of them that we, they will have to break and here comes the Blitz a Poe and... Rhodey's knockout! <laughs> Rhodey who did a great... once in his life did a great game as he had 5 SPP I guess he's been MVP once might not be this time but we never know with those who choose the MVP. And so the cage is moving on the right side now, but still not on uh, totally out from the totally on the, on the side. So they could move on the left after this if they needed to. A very safe play from uh, South 130, but. Seeing his luck on the last games, I totally understand him. I think that's what he has to do. They need to find back the, the, the self-confidence, so... Nothing like playing safe for, for getting back the, the self-confidence. And here comes the knockout. On Skink and Nancy, whoa, one of my favorite group. Band, sorry. 
I love this, uh, I love this, uh, this tribute. And the troll is moving, the troll is totally focused on the game for the moment. He wants to play his role, he wants to take part to this game, this important game. Obviously, uh, S130 doesn't want to have a, 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 another defeat in two games, so I think the troll is aware of this, and the troll is he, he's listening to his coach very, very, very... Oh! And this is what I said a few minutes ago. Those, uh, those Chaos Warriors ca could be very, very hard to block, to block, and this might be an issue for the Orcs. As they, they are getting repulsed by this smell or this disease or I don't know what. Alright, so this is one KO for the Nuggles and uh, for the moment the the graveyard is empty for the for the Orcs. So they have now a numerical advantage. Only one player out, this is not so much and it looks like uh, Nuffer doesn't want to see blood at the moment he wants to keep all the players in good shape so the suspense will be lasting until the end maybe for the moment the ball is quite well protected by the Orcs and the Nuffers will have to struggle to get it back so we can see most of the Nuggles player uh, in the center of the field so they can act on the left, on the right, on the center, everywhere, very cautious and here comes the Blitz, but it's only a push once again on Rock, the real star of this Orc team Dodge, mighty blow, tackle, sure hands, plus one agility. This player is probably the key of this game on the orc side. And the Nuggers decided to attack the cage. They don't want to wait anymore. Action, please! Said the coach, said Thunden. And he's been hurt! Ooh, and that's a KO for uh, Grebeck. Grebeck, break hand. <clears throat> well, maybe he won't break that many hands today. Oh, thankfully he'll come back soon for uh, S130 because this is an important player and there are no bench. There are no players on the bench and oh, the troll! He was concentrated but he couldn't avoid this knockout from... Uh, from the pesty girl, what's his name? Stoned Roses. Mm hmm. Remind me of another band. And now the orcs will go back to their plan or maybe adapt their plan to the situation. This is a block which is only a push once again. And there is this tentacle player trying to to keep the god, the ball carrier, the star. He <laughs> he's got a tentacle for all of those important players from the Orcs. And I think he might be blitzed very, very soon, or just blocked. I don't know. And these tentacles are tickling the pestigor. Just next to him, from him. And here comes the major move of this turn. Which is the Blitz, of course. Oh yeah. Flap, flap, I couldn't, couldn't take him down on the first try, but, 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 this is a serious guy, if he hasn't finished the job, he continues to do it, and so, on the second attempt, 
He managed to knock the play to put the player down, but unfortunately the armor wasn't broke. Fortunately for Yeti of course. And so there are not that many holes in in Nurgle team, so Yeti Ops can't uh, can't go easily right now. They still have to keep the ball in their own part of the field. Which is not very very not very very hard on turn three, but at a moment or another they will have to go forward and for the moment uh Thunder manages to, to keep them away from the from their own part of the of the of the field. Thunder tries to tries to control the orcs and for the moment he manages quite well. So the orcs will try to pass on the right. They have to move and they did well. And the tower is counting on, uh, on, the, on the god to protect him. Oh, another repulsion! Well, I don't know if this word is really correct in English, but I'll use it anyway. I don't care, I get the mic, alright? <coughs> and Stone Road is stunned! Stand stone? Well. So the game is now moving on the right side if you watch it from the orc side and obviously on the left side if you watch the game from the Nurgle side. And the tentacles are still here with a disturbing presence. This player, Faith No More, is really, really, really annoying, I think. Especially if he's well played as Thunder always used to do. And as we have two quite slow teams, uh, it's not an issue for the Nurgles that. Uh, the game is moving on the side. And here comes the blitz on the gub. By Salad. And ooh, this is mighty blower. So, no, Nibeb, Nibeb is not a rookie. Nibeb took a lot of strikes in his career, and he knows how to fall without being hurt. And now we can see the Nurgle trying to close the door, to slam the door <laughs> to the orcs' noses. Will that be enough? I don't know, but for the moment this is going to be quite hard for the for the orcs to to keep on caging. They don't have many options to to get a proper cage, so I think we could see now a bit more of action. I mean, uh, it would no time for planning. It's time to act. Anything can must be done for this ball to to get to the touchdown zone. And. Myself, I really love when plans are out and <laughs> and just a kind of instinctive play comes into it. Because I'm very bad at planning myself. Anyway, not that many options for the orcs. I think uh, S130 wanted to, he's, he's got to stand up and uh, be able to to sidestep somewhere. He could then run to the touchdown, but Nuffle said no, and uh, Sabat did the job. Sabat has been the Nuffle's tool on this one. And still those tentacles right back of the thrower. Oh, and that 
This is ten again for Terror Vision. Here comes the Blitz. Of course on the Tentacle player, Faith no more and Faith no more. He need face on this one, but he has, he has, he has face in Nuffle. And Nuffle protected him from a, a hard injury. I think that if the, if, uh, I think S130 would like to, would like to get rid of this tentacle player because he really can ruin every plan. Of course, uh, not, not, not many teams are well equipped to, to, to deal with those tentacles. When you skill up your players, you rarely think that you will face a tentacle. Especially with orcs. Even if you think about it, what can you do? We'll probably see the ball moving on the left now, as the right is quite closed. I don't know. Even throwing the gob would be a bad idea with all those disturbing prisons. Nuggers are really, really annoying for any team. And oh, Stone Temple Pilot once again down. But still no injury! So we'll have a show until the end. And I'm not a, I, I'm not a, a very very experienced or coach myself, but I think S130 did what he could best, uh, placing the ball here. It's quite protected now, and uh, I wouldn't have said this at the, uh, at the beginning of his turn, so I'm quite impressed of this move, but still, still, even if the ball is safe, which, which was the main idea and the, and the most important thing to do, they can't, they can't go, uh, go on, on the other side. They are still on their own part of the field, and it's turn 5 now. Well, next time that will be turn 5, so this is going to be time to move, by any means. Ooh, and Stone Roses with his clothes and his mighty blow, gets a KO. I feel like Nuggles are quite controlling the game right now, but of course, uh, I'm not very good at, uh, at those bashy teams, so... If I don't have any ID, doesn't mean those coaches don't have one. And I'm looking looking forward to see that. I'm also looking forward to go back to the cheerleaders, but it's a, another story. And that's a power game. Nothing bad. Those nuggers will be really, really hard to pass. And we have the ball carrier, Moros, which is shouting at his teammates like, Make a hole! Come on! Make what, much of what you can do! You're stronger than them on average. Go on, make a hole. But they can't, actually. They can't. And if they have to try something, I think it is next turn because two of the Nuggers are stunned. And next time they'll be up, so maybe the opening is right now. But still, it, when it's not, uh, when it's not Faith no more, which is uh, who who is uh, using his tentacles on the ball carrier, this is the beast. This is Dead Zeppelin. <laughs> Dead Zeppelin with his uh, cashmere tentacles. And Nibeb, the brave Nibeb, standing up and showing the way to other teammates. I will make the hole myself. I have to do everything in this team, but I will. It's 
Time for the Black Hawks to enter in action and they do it well. Looks like all the Orcs refocused on the game. And this is a stun again, which can, could be really, really useful. One more turn without tentacles. Look at those Black Orcs. I mean, there are two of them are trans four, five, sorry. Trans five, yes. Two of them plus the troll. This is a really strong team, but they need dices to to take full advantage of this, and they didn't have that many good rolls or injury. Well, nothing to complain about, but nothing to cheer about as well. And the troll is going by himself. He is really, really confident and. Focused, he, he knows he'll be able to manage to move and to do things like a normal player. As normal as a Blood Bowl player can be, of course. And looks like, yes, S130 is trying to to get many, many roads on the left, on the right, everywhere. He's trying to split the Nurgle team, but of course. In the same time, he's keeping the ball safe once again, unless the trolls goes down. And that's only a push, so Faith no more still have the face again. And another push for Ash. No, this is, pushing the Ash is not enough for cleaning. So until until now we had uh, quite a, an ordered battle and now this is going to be one on one for most of players m most players I think and God will be a key in this battle as players are splitting. I think we might try to, we might see an attempt to get the ball back from the Nurgles. Trying to get rid of the of the troll and then having a path a path to the thrower. This is possible. Maybe not the safer way to go, but if it works, of course, then this is gonna be very hard for the orcs to recover if they lose the ball right now. But this troll is quite He's still a bit too strong. Oh, and that's it. Oh, a two red die blast block. That works perfectly, but no push. So there'll be a dodge. If the Nuggle players want to reach the ball carrier, they will have to dodge. But they know how to do it. I, they have a few AG4 players, and there is one. Oh, AG5, AG4 players plus two heads. This guy dodges like casual. If there would be a big tip, would be a 2 plus dodge, plus a 2 die block. This is smelling good for the Nurgle players, and I think Thundern is just setting his other players in case it would go bad. But here comes... no? It's not a blitz. It's not a blitz, but still the ball is marked up. Ah, yes, it was a blitz, sorry. And it's only a push! It's only a push, but the ball is by itself now. And it's gonna be quite hard to take it back with all those tackle zones around. Well, there's only one, actually, but a bit further, there are many, many tackle, tackle zones. I think now it's just time for... Uh... Beating player. Oh no, one more dodge. And now we have two tackle zones around the ball. With two AG4 players. So they might try something on the next turn. If, 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 if the Orcs don't get the ball back right now. 
And here comes the Blitz to clear up this ball. And it's efficient. Everything seems easier with the uh, strength 5 players. I have to say. So now there's only one tackle zone, and uh, there could be zero after next block. But still, still, of course, Nibeb, the brave Nibeb, don't care about what's going on. He's doing his own thing, running to the touchdown line and waiting for the pass. I love that player. He's ballsy. And he's dodgy, and he's small, and he's size stepper. Actually, uh, kind of a, a, a bad copy of a, of a Dark Elf. Ooh, and that's another pow. And so now the ball is quite easy to catch. Maybe we can see the pass right after this. And if there were a pass, then... Well, still, the god would be in reach for Pessigers. So is it the best time to do it? Are there any other options? I don't know. And no, it was just a fake with Nibeb. This is, of course, a more serious player. Rock! A real star again. AG4. And Rock is shouting at the gov. Don't worry, I'll do it! Get out! And things are getting serious now. Another repulsion. And now they also are trying to protect as, as much as they can the, the ball carrier. And that's a block on the tentacle player. Still up. But we will anyway see a blitz on the ball carrier by probably by uh can't see his name of God goes. I can't remember a band about it. <coughs> I guess it was a loner who became a permanent member of this team because of his talent. And of course not because of his name. Beast is waking up and like, uh, oh, when I was up last time, the ball was in front of me, now it's just close from the touch to nine. What's going on, guys? But before the major blitz, we might see a few blocks. Just to see if they, there would be a way to get rid of one or two other orcs. And that's a push. Stone Roses hasn't been very, very efficient from the beginning of this game. We'll see if he will be better after this. Because he's not up to his reputation right now. And here comes the Blitz! And that's a pow! Rug had dodged, but it was useless this time. But still, 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 the ball is out of reach now. Taking the ball could be a uh, could be dreadful for this player as he could be served right after this quite easily. We'll see what they're gonna try. Of course, taking this ball and being served would mean that the ball would be uh, thrown by the by the crowd somewhere else. So it might be a, a solution. An emergency solution to get rid of this uh, this ball, but still, 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 losing such a player would be a bad thing. So I think, and that's what Thunder did. He played for his uh, for the security of his player, rather than a, a crazy attempt as uh, some Blitzkrieg coach would have done. As you can see, this is the difference between a good coach and a stunt coach. <laughs> And the Orcs, yes, here comes the Blitz, no way to prevent them from getting the ball now as Rock has 4 in AG plus sure hands. This is 
Yes, this is a touchdown. And I'm quite impressed because two turns from uh, from from now, I was just thinking that the Orcs couldn't make it, and two turns after, an easy touchdown. I'm very impressed. Now we'll see if the Nuggle players can score a two turn touchdown, which is not what they used to do, but but it would be a shame not to try as if they were leading uh, well if they were one one at the at the half time they could control the second half so I think we might see Thunder trying a two turn touchdown with uh, one of his AG4 players or uh, all the all the AV7 uh, Pesci girls that that couldn't prevent the touchdown he has a he has a chance to to make better this time in scoring a two turn touchdown He has to do better. He didn't well the job on the on the defense, so he has now to to score, of course. This pestigo might be shouted at by Fenden in the locker room at the halftime. And now the Orcs are setting up with the the feeling of a, a job well done. So we still have one KO player uh, on each side. It's gonna be 10 versus 10 players. We'll see how it will go after those three turns we have to play before the end of the half. Three turns, I mean two turns for Thunder and one for Yetiops. Yes, I know how to count. Crazy. Well, I knew how to count only because it was less than 5, so I could count on my fingers, of course. I think the best thing to do is trying to score with the beast, obviously. This is gonna be a left side attack, I think. Or it's very well hidden. Last check before uh, before the the game is being kicked. A few more changes and a few last minute changes. We'll see if it was the good or the bad solution. Still. Oh, and that's a perfect defense! That is tough. That is obviously not what Thunden wanted. He planned to go on the left. He thought he had the, the room for this, and now the room is not here anymore. The door is closed again. This game is a story of doors closing. So what are you also gonna do? Are they gonna go to, to the contact just to prevent the two turn touchdown? But that might be risky or are they gonna play cautious? Looks like they will go to contact with their stronger players. Which is not that risky. As they are strong, of course. <laughs> and the blitzers are staying back in reserve, ready to intervene if needed. The thrower as well, and the goblin is just hiding. <clears throat> so.
So, let's sum this up. Uh, Thunder wanted to go on the left side. He had room, he had players uh, ready to catch the ball and to throw it. Then it was a perfect defense, so the room wasn't there. And then the ball went on the right side where, when he was expecting it on the left. So this is going to be quite challenging now to score in two turns, but I'm sure Thunder can do it. He always manages what he tries, at least when I saw him playing. But this is going to be interesting, anyway. And so we start with a blitz, so... Oh, that's tough. That's tough. Yes, that's a reroll, so everything is, is now uh, given by Thunder to try to score this touchdown before the half. Last reroll. He puts everything he has in it, in this attempt, and he's right to me. But who am I to judge? So we have one Pestigran in scoring position now, and I think he won't be the only one, of course. There might be a few other options, but before this, of course, a little knockdown. Now we have another Pestigron that can run through the field, and it's not any Pestigron, it's an AG4 dodging Pestigron, so exactly the kind of players you need to, to score right after this, even uh, if there are Tycletons around him. Ooh! Oh, and that's really, really tough. Looks like Nuffle is just thinking he's been a bit tough with the Orcs those last games and he's trying to help them right now. Because now, next turn, the, the, the Nurgle will have to take the ball and try at least a long pass or maybe a long bomb to, to reach the players in, position, in scoring position. That won't be easy at all without any rewards. So I think now S130 is just chilling in his, in his coach, just like appreciate it, lighting a cigar and saying I love when a plan goes as planned. But still there is a risk and he knows it so he puts his players around this pestigor Uh, Arnold goes. If 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 it if it is a band name, I really would like to know what kind of music they do. Probably heavy metal. Seeing how it goes, I think a one-one score at the halftime would be a kind of miracle right now. But still, we never know with Nuffle. A stand for Storm, the rose? Roses? How many roses? Anyway. Hmm, it'd be a push or both down. Oh, it's a reroll. <laughs> None of them. And this is a ball for the beast. Take those tackles away from me. This, those tentacles away from me, please. And Dead Zeppelin is turned by such a such an attack from the from the troll. Good fort, which has been concentrated concentrated during the, the entire half. I, I can't remember him being stupid. Which is obviously a kind of victory for him. Oh, and that's the first injury. Terror vision is out for the game. Nothing worse than this, but still, still. He's out. And he'll take his smell, his disease, and everything with it. With him. Out of the game. One less disturbing presence if at a moment or another the orcs needs a pass that could be useful 
and that's always useful to get rid of a Chaos Warrior, obviously. So now, will we see a, a crazy touchdown from the Whipping Widowmakers? I still didn't find a, a nickname, but it will come, it will come, of course it will come. <laughs> Wait for it. Window cleaners? I don't know. So, the action starts well with a, a, a ball catch, which is successful. And now there will be such a hard pass to manage, and such a hard reception as well. If it works, this is a miracle. I don't even know if he, he if he's gonna try it because it would mean a turnover if it fails. I don't know. We'll see this within the next forty seconds. I think Fendon is hesitating himself. Oh yes, yes, we might see the, the attempt anyway. And I love that when risks are taken. I really love that. Yes, I love risk because uh, when it works, uh, of course, of course, some people will say, you've been lucky. Yes, but I did try at least and you can't manage something that you don't try oh it's a bit too far yes no miracle there so this is the half time yet jobs are leading one to new for weeping widowmakers and uh, i can hear the voice of thunder shouting throughout the walls of the locker room what are you doing? We won last game 4-0, you're not even able to, to prevent them from scoring this time. Wake up, guys! He might promise them a few new diseases if they win. Fashion disease, of course. The Orcs did the job, we'll see if uh, Nurgle can can do the job as well during uh, the second half, which would mean there would be a 1-1, one, one. or will there be one of the two teams that will manage to score two touchdowns in this game, which would mean we would see a great game. We have 10 Nurglers versus, uh, versus, we have 9 Nurglers, sorry, 9, nine Nurgle players versus 11 Orcs, which makes it even harder to score. The game isn't going the way Thunder would like, I'm sure of it, but of course, of course, he still can tie, and I think he's even able to score another touchdown. That man knows how, how to use a Nurgle team, he knows how to use any Blood Bowl team. But in front of him, S130 is not, is not a Nubs as well. And he knows how to use his Orcs as long as he has decent, le decent luck. So this is going to be interesting. But the Tentacles were really useful to defend. They won't be that useful to attack. They have. They will have to find something else to score. Maybe an AG4 players, maybe, or a AV7 player. Once again, everything is open right now. So the Ox uh, just set up quite close. They, 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 uh, they didn't went very far from the loss. They want to put pressure right at the beginning of the game 
and we still have Nibeb, the heroic Nibeb, that helped for the scoring as, as he supported his uh, Blitzer, which is hiding again, but maybe just to be better thrown by the troll. Because in case of a Blitz, for example, the troll could go to the gob and throw him, as he doesn't have any tackles around him. I always love to see that. And that's a riot one less turn, so oof. This is good for the orcs, of course. I think we might talk about this bad feeling again at the end of the game. Because Tandon might have been right. Perfect defense, then a riot. The events are not in a, are not on, on the another side this game. So Nuggers are going in contact, not afraid of those trans five black orcs, they don't care, they have armor, they have tentacles, they have disease, they have all they need. And no time to waste, no time to waste. The 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 Pesigo just took the ball and then then is moving as fast as he can in direction of the touch the line. Of course he can't reach it. Oh and that's a pass already! Fenden wants to make to win this game. He wants to score fast and rescore again, maybe? I don't know, but still this is the way he would play if he was willing to do this. <clears throat> And there's already a Pestigor in scoring position. The, I don't know what's his name. Uh, <laughs> Ross, I don't know what. Who couldn't uh, get his ball before the, the halftime. This time, he, obviously, he's, he's waiting for... No, he's just protecting the worker. And it's... This could be a two-turn touchdown. Thunder is just replaying the last... Uh, the, the, um, the end of the first half. What he... What he should have done he's doing it right now oh and he's doing it really well an injury for the for the black hawk for grab no. i couldn't see his name anyway he's out for the game so i don't have to remember his name anyway i don't care of players that are out <laughs> But actually, the, uh, the ball carrier is not protected. I think Thunder is just counting on his dodge block and AG4 to, to, to make it by himself. This is a star player. He doesn't need his, all his teammates around him to score. And he's going to prove it, maybe. Or maybe the Ox will just remind him that this is a team game. But this was really ballsy from Thunder, and I love ballsy play. And it, ooh, that's wonderful for the Nurgle. Now a simple dodge, and this is it. The reward was even worse than the first throw, as it was uh, only a two both down. But as both players had luck, nothing happened, and now. This is going to be quite difficult for the Orcs to put another player uh, between Touchdown and Sabbat. So I guess, I guess, I guess this is going to be a 1-1 one, one very, very, very soon. And I can see S130 shouting at his players. We're doing! We were controlling it! We're in good shape! We had, and of course, when everything goes bad, everything goes bad. The troll is now stupid. He's been very focused on the first half. But he gave everything he had, and now he can't think anymore. Well, at least not at the game. He's probably thinking about flowers, clouds. Oof! Impressive dodge from uh, 
A rug that don't care about tentacles, don't care about anything else. He's in his game, he's, he scored. Yes, he was the scorer and uh, he wants to be the only scorer in this game. Oh, wow, the orcs are just elf disguised! But still, only a 2 plus dodge, still. All of those fantastic dodges, but they couldn't make more, better than a 2 plus dodge for uh, preventing the score. That's a shame. All those work, all those efforts for not that much. And the tentacles works this time. So now the final dodge, the final come down. I don't know. Call it how, whatever you want. We'll probably see a one more. Sorry, I can't speak anymore. I'm just holding my breath. Oh, and the dodge is successful. And yes, this is a 1-1. One, one, and there's still plenty of time. Uh, once again, I was wrong when I said we, we were probably about to see a 1-1. One, one. No, no, no. Thunder didn't hear it that way. Thunder wanted to, to put his hand on the game and just say, I'm not afraid to score fast. I'm not afraid of it. I just want to have enough time to take you back the ball and score once again. Did you hear it? And this is really ballsy, this is really well done, and I really, really, really appreciate it a lot. We saw two great touchdowns now, and we'll see how S130 will refocus on this game. I think it's been quite tough for him to take this two-turn touchdown, and uh, we'll see how he will react. He still has time to score, he will have the ball, so on the paper at least, the advantage is for him, but still, Thunder just proved him two last turns that... This is this won't be easy for him. And Thunder is not playing for the tie. Very, very exciting play from uh, from Tunden. Thanks a lot for those who watch this game. This is the kind of action we all love as uh, as uh, watchers. I don't even know if watchers is correct again in English, but I don't care. I get the mic. I am the one who speaks here, so. I will choose my words even if they don't exist. And I won't end this sentence because it would be very rude. <laughs> so everything has to be done again for the Orcs. Their advantage is... Oh, that's a surprise. But their advantage is quite hard. Uh, that was quite hard to obtain. It's just no now. I think mentally it's tough. And Thunder players throw the ball as far as they could, like, just come on now, you have the whole field to do with this ball. You have to go through the whole, whole field. This is gonna be tough for you, I told you at the beginning of the game. There's nothing easy in the MMR, no easy game at all. Unless Nuffle helps you a lot, there will always be surprise and, of course, that surprise is... Oh! Repulsion again. The end of first half was clearly uh, going the, the Orcs way, but now things totally changed. Things are going Nurgle way. And Orcs will have to deal with it. I can see Pessigers ready to run to the ball. 
they want this they they want this second touchdown. No way, Fender promised them fashionable disease and they want them. They want to go back home and say, Hello, darling, see this new disease? What do you think about it? Ooh, and the goblin is going in contact with the beast to allow his teammate to block him and this is it. But still no armor break. Are the Orcs about to try the same thing than the Nurgle, trying in two turns, trying to score in two turns? Yes, we get a, we we can see a player which is uh, who is going. Yes, yes, here comes the Blitz, and so the Orcs will be a bit closer from the touchdown line, allowing a pass to 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 make them score. But still, a pass against Nurgle is never really easy with all those prisons. Disturbing prisons, of course. And there's not a lot more to do for the ox. At least the ball has been picked up. In good hands, out of reach. But the other story is to put a player in scoring position. And already turn 12 with this riot. Five turns to go to score for both coaches. Whatever you want to try, you don't have time to waste. And this is a blitz. Only a push. Ooh, and a push that makes the player closer from uh, from the touch and line and out of a disturbing presence. So this push might finally be uh, not that helpful. Unless, of course, a Chaos Warrior moves. Ah, oh, another double skull. I was just about to say, uh, it's funny how uh, there are less blocks on this second half because uh, action is, is more important, ball action is more important than blocking, which wasn't the case obviously in uh, the very beginning of this game. And so we might see a bit less blocks on this second half. And the Nurgles are moving to that defense position against those two blitzes. Which are quite dreadful with the uh, AG4. And there's a disturbing presence now in reach of this AG4 blitzer. And it's gonna be tough for the Ox to send someone to help him. He's quite alone now, even if uh, Brian is here to help him. But Brian is a rookie, Brian doesn't have any real important skills, he just knows how to block, he's just a. Uh, just here to help the stars, but he's not here to make the action by himself. Once again, not, not an easy turn for the odds. And this is another slap in the beast. But still, no armor breaks. That Zeppelin is very, very, very resilient. Well, that's what he's been expecting to expected to. But still, he's another block. And this time, this is a stun, a bit better. Still no injury, but at least this player won't wake up next turn. You stay down, and only a push to him. A bit disappointed, but we still didn't see the Blitz. There might be a solution by this Blitz. Here it comes. Huh. That's a safe Blitz. 
and Bedrick thought he did the hardest, he thought he had this player down, but no, Sabat just manages to dodge this attack and stay up, ready to run at the ball carrier if he has an occasion. A few tackle zones around the, the two pestigers. Oh! All right, the go for it finally, finally go through. I think mentally Nurgle players are just, uh, are just now uh, thinking they can, they can succeed in anything, any dodge, any block. They feel unbeatable after the two-turn touchdown. They are fully focused, and we can see also that I think I saw a few, a few shaking legs uh, in the old team because uh, they thought they had the game, and now they are not in such a good position. Even if they, if they still have the ball, there is no cage, there is no player in scoring position. Only a gob to help, which is obviously not that much. Who would like to rely on a gob to help you when a pestigor comes fully launched against you? Oh, the beast puked at the troll. This is not very polite. I think she, the beast, is done with all those blocks and wants to reply in his own way to the troll. But still, even if there are options for the noble players, nothing will be easier again. And here comes the dodge. A tackles on around the ball carrier, but this guy has not of seal. Yes, and once again the quick pass doesn't doesn't work. Once again that's a bow, and once again there is a tackles on now around the ball. But still, that was the case in first half, and the Orcs managed managed to score. So maybe they can do it again. Like said the chemical brothers. Nagel players put such a pressure the pressure on, on the orcs and the orcs are not well known to to love pressure. Elves deal quite well with it, with tackle zones around the ball carrier and things like that, but the Orcs like to have room to move, room to, to, to set up their game, the play. And they never had a chance with the Nurgles. Thunder decided to, to, to never leave them a, a little bit of room, and for the moment it's quite uh, well done and quite efficient. Once again, the Orcs managed to score in the first half in, a, in, in a, a hard position, so we'll see now. And another dodge, another... Oh, and the ball is now in scoring position for the Nurgle players! And another good player comes, looks like... They are unstoppable. <laughs> only, uh, only the gub is now... <laughs> is now looking at the three pesty goes around him. <clears throat> Won't be easy. Nibeb is brave, but still, he's a gub. And Maras just wake up and just see the damage is done. Still, the Orcs won't give up. And obviously, we'll see a blitz against the ball carrier. But before this, 
Time for a few tackle zones, in case it could go bad. Here comes the blitz! Here comes the blitz! And that's only a push. Bad, 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 another attempt. Another push. And no, 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 no! Flash, Flablab doesn't see this this way, yes! And so, he managed to put down Stone Temple. Still, taking back the ball we, is another story now. What a game, my friends, what a game! Maybe this is gonna be Nibib Hour of Glory. Frenzy has been quite useful this game. Twice there was a push on first. Oh! Unlucky there. Rob did too much. Until now, he did too much and he's a bit exhausted. He can't run as fast as he did in first half, of course. Both teams are exhausted by all those uh, blocks, all those go for it, all those dodges, all this talent, all those great actions. And we can understand this player fall down trying to run as fast as he can. It's just exhaustion, I guess. And then he's just using the blackboard on the side of the of the pitch, trying to see what's the best way to to get this second touchdown. He's really looking for. And looks like this this, this the blitz was the best thing to do with Stone Temple Pilot, but he couldn't put the player down. So now he needs some dodges to get the ball if he tries it. No, that won't be him. That will be. Sabbath, which is quite at ease with the ball as well, and he's now in scoring position once again with luck with dodge. He'll be hard to put down, and that's a bow just to celebrate this good play from the beast. The beast, which has been quite uh, inoffensive from the beginning of the game, so it was time it manages a, a block, but it, it did so. He won't be fired, I hope. And Nagel players are trying to get a little bit of uh, presence in the opposite part of the pitch. A few help, a few hands, a few tackle zones, a few everything. And now we have a screen. But the screen is not complete yet. Oh yes, it is, almost. I don't see how Thundon could have do better than this on the screen. This is quite well done. It's not perfect, but it's not his fault. It's just because the players were, weren't were in position to help. But that's quite a nice screen. When we think about how the, how the player was uh, set up at the beginning of his turn. And another block, another frenzy. Flablub, yes, Flablub always do it in two, in two, two time. I mean, uh, he needs a, f a warm up on the first block, and then the second block is efficient. That's three times in this game he needs two blocks to put the player down, but at the end he always put the player down. So nice. Oh, I'm sure this is Nibib, Hour of Glory, of course. I love Nibib. Or oh, Nibib? I don't know. <laughs> A 
And Nibeb, yes! How of glory! He's getting... He's going through the pitch, just uh, getting ready to, to receive a pass and score the winning touchdown! This is Nibeb time of glory! But for this, that would mean that Rock would have managed his blitz to get back the ball, and this is not done yet. Ooh. And it's only a push. Nibab is waiting for a pass that might never come. But still, a few tackles on. No guard around, so a simple blitz will be enough. Yes. Yes, a simple blitz, and then maybe, in the worst case, a simple dodge after this would be enough for uh, Sabat to score, and this would reward a ballsy playing from Thunden. And as you, as you probably know, I always love when a ballsy play is rewarded. This is what we play, right? We play for 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 those kind of actions, those ballsy actions. Because ballsy doesn't mean dumb. Will we see a few blocks before uh, the attempt to score? I don't know. We'll have the answer in a very few seconds. A little bit of positioning before. the reward was uh, really needed here but and it works anyway with the last reward of the team Sabat scored the 2-1 and that's really really tough for the yet jobs obviously Thunder must be celebrate celebrating and cheering on his side of the of the pitch and on the other side yet jobs uh, s130 is Certainly stunned by this second touchdown, but he still has time to has time to tie. The ballsy play again, but he has what he needs: two turns. But two turns with all those disturbing presents. This is the same kind of miracle than in at the end of the first half, to me, of course. But once again, I'm not a good orc coach. <coughs> And as the Orcs did at the beginning of second half, the, the Nurgle players are setting up close to the to the Orcs. Won't let them a lot of room. And if they want to go to the, uh, on the left side or the right side, there will be a tentacle player here ready to prevent him from moving further. I don't know for any other coaches, but myself, I didn't see any mistakes from both coaches, so it's been a great game. And uh, I love that. I really love to see two coaches playing well, playing uh, cleverly. No mistakes. Class game. It looks like Nibeb. Stay close from the troll, ready to be thrown if needed. This is he. This is his time today. He wants to. If he if he needs to be thrown, if he needs to risk his life, he will do. 
just to get a tie. Once again, the Ethiops can't afford another loss, I think. So they will have to try. Oh no, <laughs> no, we won't see a. We won't see. It looks like at least that on first turn we won't see a gob throwing. I'd be disappointed. I always love to see a a goblin being thrown, and this is a surprise. But obviously, one more uh, one more move is uh, is is, <laughs> is very useful to a wood elf catcher. A bit less for a black orc to score fast, at least. Well, I don't know what uh, S-130 will try, but he will try something. I'm sure of it. He won't just look in despair at the, at the, at the scoring board. He will try something. He has to try something. He will try something. He has what it, he has what what is needed to try something. He knows how to play his team. He knows how to play blood ball. He can try something, and he will. And I'm looking forward to see it. And it starts by a push. That wasn't the most important block from the turn, so I guess S130 don't even care about it. He's just focused on the touch the nine. But a Poe is good for Moral at least. And that's just a no SPP lately in the game. And it looks like the idea is to keep those disturbing prisons away from the troll. And I'm almost sure now we might see a gob throwing next turn. Yes, yes, everything is being set up for this. And this is quite well set up because there aren't any disturbing prisons right now around the troll. Of course, Thunder could bring some, but that won't be that easy. Uh, it might be easier now. Forget about what I said. <laughs> anyway, it's so hard to throw a gob that disturbing prisons or not. I think the orcs don't really care. It it requires a, a great di dice anyway. Elm, the beast thinks the game is over. Just waiting for the shower and that's all. Well, a disease shower of course. <coughs> And so without taking any risks for themselves, the Chaos Warrior will probably go closer from the troll. Try to prevent him from throwing properly this gob. And this is a Blitz, this is a Paw. With Claws and Mighty Blow, will it work? Only a stun again. I'm not sure moving the troll one more, uh, getting the troll one more move was a very very good idea. I think he was better on the other side of the line and a bit away from the disturbing prisons and potential tackle zones. I think as the, as the, the last hope is a, is a grab throwing, maybe the troll sh should have get a bit 
backward. Further from the disturbing presence again. And not only are these seven prisons, not only are tackle zones, but this, this is now tentacles around it. Then then doesn't want to take any risk. And he's right to do so, obviously. Whatever happens now in... One minute and forty seconds, we will know if the game has been won or not. All comes down to now, to this gob being thrown, to this Nibel who was really, really willing to score at the end of first half and couldn't because Rock told him, let me do. I'm way better than you this time. Every hopes are on Nibel's shoulders. Time for glory, man. But of course his teammates will try to clear a bit the pitch to help the troll getting a, a proper throw, a clean throw, a magnificent throw. Here comes the blitz, a bow. Faith No More has been uh, really resi resilient uh, in this game as well. Uh, of course he has the uh, 90 armor but he's been hit by players with mighty blow most of the time and uh, it didn't seem to affect him and here comes the throw Gusfort is trying to focus the coach is trying to get him focused what no throwing all right Okay, so I think we have a winner already. Probably Gutford couldn't resolve himself to take a risk for a Nibeb. I just think it wasn't fair to risk to kill him or to eat him. So this is gonna be a 2-1 win. Congratulations both coaches. Let's see the statistics. 50% of the ball position for Yetjobs, only 12%. And I think we have a coach here. Hello. Hello, winning coach. Hey, bud. So what How about this bad feeling? <laughs> I'll tell you what. That ranks, uh, you know, I thought it was an amazing game. Um, that ranks up there with my best wins, I think, in the MML. Um, oh, yeah? Yeah, absolutely, without a doubt. Because 1-0 down at the end of the second half, losing a Nurgle Warrior early doors... Uh, I was just like, damn, how am I going to get this? And then I lost a turn at the start of the second half. I was just like, okay, right, what would DD do? What would DD do? <laughs> so I thought, let's go for the two-turner. Um, went for the two-turner. Uh, it managed to work with a couple of lucky lucky dice, um, not getting a pow. Um, I think he re-rolled into a worse dice for him than, than his initial block. And uh, yeah, managed to, managed to get the 1-1 one, one then. And then managed to get round the back, blitz his ball carrier, then get the AG4 pieces, which were just mana from heaven, um, onto the ball. And then just the, it was almost elf BS at the end, you know, the amount of dodges and, and run throughs that I made. Exactly. Um, exactly. Yeah, so I, it was, that was one of my best wins ever. But, you know, Southie played an amazing first half. I thought I had him contained, uh, but then it all went a bit wrong and he he burst down one side and I just couldn't get to him uh, so he, he had a great first half um, and yeah I was I was just damn lucky in the second half but I had to I had to play for it that's the most aggressive I've ever played Nurgle but I, I can say, I, I can I say from you... here on I can say from here on we're going to do that every game we are going to be the entertaining Nurgle team of the Challenge League hey <laughs> I'm glad to hear it of course, uh, I mean, uh, Pro or have a few entertaining teams, Blitzkrieg Girls are among them, but I think in Challenge League they will need, of course, another ent entertaining team. Glad to hear it, it could be the, the, the Widowmakers. Uh, I think it's, it's be quite a, a mental uh, lift. I mean, uh, first half, you control him quite well uh, for 
five or six turns, then uh, he scored. And uh, yes, I think he, he was... Uh, I don't know if he will join us or not, but if I was him, I think I would have been quite... I'm going to invite him again. Goes bad, I will lose. I was in good position and I will lose. And the uh, hands are shaking around the controller. Oh. And uh, I think... It... <laughs> you don't know. Honest to God, honest to God stunt, man. It was, that was a nervous, nervous game, man. It was really well played. And as I said, I, I always love when a ballsy plays... Because, uh, of course, you've been really aggressive, but you, you, you didn't do uh, stupid things. So I love when Ballsy uh, is well played and is well rewarded, and that's the case. But I think it's a bit uh, hard for um, for South because he played well as well. He played yeah, really I, well, well he, as well. He had a great first half, man. You know, um, his position anywhere near his ball. Uh, the, the one time I could have done it, I screwed up by moving a Nova Warrior, and that sort of closed out the... Uh, the avenue for the blitz before it went down um, and then he, he managed to push it down the side he had a good setup down there with the two pieces uh, and all I could do was just try and you know hope that he got a double skull but um, why, why did you why did you reward the blitz uh, when scoring the second you know what I thought I, I just thought it would be easier to try and get the knockdown on the line on the on the loner lineman and then I'm I'm out I don't even have to make a dodge all right but um, yeah, it, it I understand. wasn't the most optimal play. I could have probably kept that re -roll. Um So so yeah, it was deep. one of my top three games in the ML. Oh, I'm glad I announced it. No, I'm mate, really I, I've got to I, say, I announced it. You, I, I... sorry, I, I just can't hear you anymore. I take the earpiece out a lot just so I can concentrate. But every time I put the earpiece in, you were doing a fantastic job, man. Oh, cheers. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for commentating. I can't wait to listen back to it. You're very I, I welcome. Say, in the... I would say one thing, though. Uh, I got very lucky on the KOs and the injuries. I mean, he had 54 blocks uh, against my 28. And, um, oops, I buggered that up. Um, so, yeah, uh, one sec, one sec, one sec. So he yeah, had 54, 54 blocks I didn't against realize. 28. And then 13 armor breaks against my six so and we came out with the exact same ko's and injuries so i got pretty lucky on that uh so yeah that was i i, I was lucky this game anyway obviously you always need a little bit of luck to win uh, against uh, such a good coach and so but you you use the the luck really well and uh great game great game from both of you but especially uh, of course as i already said it I already said it. Sorry, I'm getting tired. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's problem. As I already said it, uh, uh, you played Baldy. You've been rewarded. Well done. Thank you, mate. I'm about to go off and collapse now after a nervous panic attack. So, um, no, <laughs> thank you very much Enjoy. for announcing, man. All right, guys. Thank you, you very much been... for this show. <laughs> thank so you very big... much for this show. <laughs> hey, dude, my pleasure, man. Anytime. You are a great commentator. Um, I'd just like to Cheers. give a serious big thank you out to Stuntman Didi, the most uh, nuts coach in the MML, but one of the best players <laughs> to watch play. Um, and uh, you have been watching an MML Challenge League broadcast. Um, see you on the Astro Granite. Toodles. See you guys. Okay, we are out.